my way. Crossing you here. I got it, right? Supongo que está bien. up a respectable kill count by the time we moved in on the bar. That was the only explanation I could come up with, because it didn't take long for a whole lot of aliens to close on our position. I'm on it! If you say so. Overwatch. Si, tú lo dices? Guardia! Si tú lo dices. Estoy preparada. still some independent businesses out there trying to survive the occupation back then. In a few areas things almost seemed normal, but Advent wasn't having it. Constantly changing restrictions on unauthorized food sources made it almost impossible not to move to the new city centers. Supongo que está bien.
Ritchie! Still floating around out there in the territories. All highly illegal, of course. If you couldn't trade for it, you could always try your luck in the abandoned cities. A lot of people disappeared chasing vices of the old world back then. What's over there? stages of establishing itself as the new global front. But we ran into some of their first groups that day outside the bar. I was pretty confident we'd come out on top, but even I was impressed by how well we handled these guys. I definitely got that one. slightest clue what these advent goons were barking about back then. Not that it mattered. The more of them we took out, the more I started to see that with the right people, there was still a chance we could make a difference out here.
left the bar sober but fully intact, I couldn't really complain about the outcome. We were able to pull some usable armor vests and PCS components from the advent units near the bar, but there was no sign of anything I recognized from XCOM. Past the bar on the outskirts of town was the freight yard, and according to the map, this was where the sanctuary was supposed to be. We found some old trail markers, symbols people called the hobo code back in the day. None of us actually knew what the signs meant, but we got the distinct impression we were being warned to steer clear. We had already come too far, and if the aliens had gotten to these people, we had to know for sure. The freight yard hadn't been in operation since the war started. With few exceptions, interstate commerce had all but ground to a halt by this point. I'm sure the old boxcars made for a tempting place to hide when the aliens rolled up on the town. Unfortunately, if anyone had survived, there was no sign of them when we showed up. I can't say we weren't disappointed. There was no sanctuary here, and if there ever was, the aliens had done their worst.